All right, music fans, welcome. Harmless Dave here talking real music in real time for a couple of real people out there just like you and just like me. All right, going to be talking about the Eagles, and this band is kind of related. Venice, um, really amazing band. This is their album, uh, Jacaranda Street. Came out a number of years ago. Uh, their singer, Kip Lennon, uh, and a whole bunch of Lennon brothers are on this particular album and project, and that is the Mothership Band for Kip Lennon. But Kip is out there now singing for Ambrosia, which I think is really cool, uh, and he does a great job. He's also viral singing, uh, what is it, Ricky Don't Lose That Number by Steely Dan, just does this amazing version along with uh, Skunk Baxter and Nathan East. I mean... It's just royalty. Anyway, these guys are really good if you like uh, the Beach Boys, the Eagles, America, all that kind of stuff. Venice, Jacaranda Street, just amazing music. And they don't make too much music like this. And so that's why I think the album is like four or five years old. When I first heard it, I'm like, wow, people still make music like this. Um, much like Cimarron 615, it's kind of... You know, it's it's going extinct, but uh, there are a few people still out there making great, uh, accessible music that is a little more gentle on the ears and a little bit more song-written, songwriter-driven. All right, um, speaking of great songwriting, the Eagles, of course, are wrapping up their career with a never-ending tour, probably two or three years. That would be my guess. Uh, Don Felder is not... Part of this tour, he's not been asked to return for the end. I'm thinking it would make great business sense. But those rumors I had heard at the very beginning um, were quickly uh, squelched when <laughs> nothing happened. And when also someone else uh, I reached out to said, no, they haven't even been in negotiations. Um, Joe Walsh, who hasn't spoken to Don Felder since Felder got booted from the Eagles, um, probably signed an NDA of some kind or a gag order, like you can't talk to Felder. I know you guys were friends. Probably the same thing with Tim Schmidt as well. I mean, those are only the, the two only guys that would be interested in breaking the rules. But I can kind of see Joe Walsh at like 3 o'clock in the morning, you know, giving Felder a call. Hey, Don! Don, it's Joe. You know, hey. I sound like Minnesota Joe there. That was kind of weird, but he's got this squeaky voice. And Felder would be all cool and like, hey, Joe, you're not supposed to be calling me. Hang up before you get in trouble. You know, <laughs> they probably have Joe's phone why bugged. You know, they probably have Joe Walsh where he, if he makes a phone call, they know he, you know, don't call Felder, whatever you do. What's cool about Don Felder is he's very accessible. He's on Facebook, he's on other social media platforms, and he interacts with fans. You see him in concert, he takes pictures with you. He seems like the nicest guy. And the interviews also kind of make him look like a really nice guy, even when he was um, trashing his old bandmates during that whole Hell Freezes Over book tour thing, and then... He just did a whole bunch of interviews and the interviews I watched like every one of them because he was just dishing and telling the truth about working for the corporation. And I could hear Joe Walsh, Don, you got to get me out of here. You know, it's just driving him crazy at this point, but he's making lots of money. And I guess, you know, just shut up. And even in the documentary, just sign the contract, Don, you know, that was the thing. Tim Schmidt too, just sign the contract. I mean, Timothy B. Schmidt, he's like a peacemaker. He's not going to rock the boat. I'm surprised that Felder did based on his personality. But he probably, you know, he saw how the sausage was being made and all the profits that were being made. And he said to himself, you know what? I wrote that song, Hotel California, from start to finish. Yeah, Henley and Glenn Fry to some degree, um, wrote the lyrics to it. And those lyrics are iconic, but... Without that great melody to uh, inspire those lyrics, Hotel California doesn't exist as a concept. It never happens. So Felder, to me, is rock royalty, and 
he should be forgiven at this stage. He just should be. Irving Azoff, who likes to go out with a bang, that's why there are rumors that Fleetwood Mac, sorry about the pun, but rumors that Fleetwood Mac may give it another go. And there was one article I encountered last week or the week before talking about the possibility of a Fleetwood Mac reunion with the remaining members. And uh, that wouldn't surprise me. It would be shocking based on the fact that Christine McVie passed away. But the point is, Irving Azoff, if anybody can do this, he can. If anybody could negotiate Felder's return, I'm thinking, you know, Irving is the guy to do it. And would it be eating too much crow for Don Henley? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, Henley, out of principle, will not bend on this. I think the other guys in the band would. I think uh, Vince Gill would pack back up and head head home to Tennessee or whatever um, and just say, hey, I had a great time. I had a great run. You don't really need his vocal on any song. I think he's he's singing Take It to the Limit, right? Which nobody can sing like Randy Meisner. And I've always thought they should retire that. But now that Randy is gone, um, they're probably going to be uh, doubling down and singing it. Um, just don't have Joe Walsh sing it please, for the love of God, no Joe Walsh. Um, not on that song, you know. Um, but getting back to the possibility of Felder uh, being a part of this, it's slim to none. And the Eagles have effectively memory hold Don Felder. Only the hardcore uh, old dudes out here on the internet care. You know, most everybody else who's going to see the Eagles realized, well, Felder really didn't sing any of their songs. He was supposed to sing Victim of Love. He didn't. Um, he sang a song called Visions that is a deep track from one of these nights. And people know Felder more for taking a ride on heavy metal, which I believe featured Don Henley on backing vocals. It might have been Fry, Henley, and Schmidt, which is crazy that they would work with Don Felder after the... Uh, what is that thing called in Southern California? The Long Night in Long Beach or something? So at that point, <laughs> maybe it was just Glenn Fry and Don Felder who were really uh, feuding. But uh, in any event, I think it's time. It's time to bury the hatchet and have Felder come back. But we'll see. My guess is it's not going to happen. Uh, I will continue to pursue a couple of sources I have on this. Uh, I'm sure it's not going to happen at the beginning of the tour. If it happens, it's probably going to be toward the end. And right now we're looking at maybe 2025 on this, late 2024. Um, they're going to go through all the major markets and then they're going to swing back through and catch all the other ones that they didn't go to the first time. And these tickets are insane. The prices, I mean, Bruce Springsteen is probably not as expensive as going to see the Eagles on their farewell. And I think that's about right. Um, I'm a much bigger Eagles fan. Uh, if somebody wanted to send me some tickets, uh, that would be the only way I would, or I could afford, because I'm not taking out a second mortgage. I'm not doing a home equity loan. I'm not applying for the American Express Platinum card. I'm just, I'm not doing it. I think if you have the Platinum card, you get uh, first dibs on tickets when they go on sale. So not only do you get to max out your credit card, but you get first dibs. So I guess that almost offsets the problem. Anyway, no problem with this band here. This is Venice, Jacaranda Street. Check it out. The great Kip Lennon. What a great singer that guy is. Just Amazing. He is a replacement singer for like three different bands, Ambrosia, Steely Dan, and possibly even the Eagles. He could probably do the Glenn Fry parts uh, in the Eagles better than anyone else uh, other than Deacon, maybe better than Deacon. I mean, Deacon is pretty good. Uh, Deacon's more visual than the voice. Um, and it's good that he's decided to come back, whatever the reason was. That's all been kind of kept under the rug and, you know, anyway, 
Hope he's doing well. I hope everybody in that band is healthy. Uh, and don't forget about Don Felder, right? He's out on tour doing his thing, and he's terrific. Um, vocally, I know he, he can't duplicate Don Henley or Glenn Fry, but he does his thing, and the fans really appreciate what he does. So that's it, folks. Uh, thanks for watching. Please keep subscribing. I'm going to try not to complain about the money situation or the lack of views or the lack of whatever because there's not much I can do about it apparently. So I'm just going to just keep going. And I want to thank everybody who's a patron. If you want to sign up for Patreon and help the channel, that's up to you. But in the meantime, just keep watching the videos and I will see you very soon.